Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Hillwood High School honors history teacher Amber Walker knows how to learn from the past. Somebody tell me about Harding and Coolidge. If you qualify for the National Cheerleading Championships but don't have a way to pay for it, you're not going. This has been a long goal of ours. Four years ago, her girls made it and didn't go. You guys know your general spacing. This was no surprise. No cheerleading squad in Metro history has qualified and then raised $20,000 to go to national championships. There we go. And so she changed tactics. My girls don't do very well with selling things, but if you tell them to go wash a car or if you tell them to come work a sounds game, then they've got the work already in front of them. And my girls are workers. They'll work all day long. They're just not necessarily sellers. So I guess the model was different. In addition to the two hour, six day a week practices, the girls worked all summer, manual labor, variety of jobs before they qualified. Yeah! A leap of faith that paid off when Hillwood became one of 51 teams invited to the UCA National Championships at Disney World. It really puts into perspective like how much this really means and how big this really is because like if it was just something cheap and that anyone can go to, um, it wouldn't be as big and it wouldn't be as special. But since it, since it does have that aspect in it, it really makes it big and it makes it more special for us. And during the long year, the girls learned it's more than good routines and athleticism. They became something more. Because at first we didn't all know each other, so it was like different for everyone because we we're like, okay, well, who are you? But we've learned that we've grown to appreciate each other and love and just bond as a squad. Freeze!